Hello and welcome to another video, and welcome to Bali, which is one of the most popular places in the world. Or at least, one of the most popular places on Instagram. Doesn't really matter. Recently though, I've spent a lot of time in Bali, and specifically Ubud, and even though it has a reputation of being super chill, yogi type place, there is quite a lot you can do from here, and I wanted to give you guys the rundown on everything I've been getting up to. So, without any further ado, let's kick things off, right in the centre of the town, with the temples. There are literally thousands of temples in Bali and Ubud has its own few to contribute to that. They're pretty much located on the side of the road and anyone can just walk into the majority of them and take a look around and see what's going on. When I went I arrived pretty early to see them so I could beat the crowds and get some sick footage for you guys. I failed. And despite the amount of no entry signs dotted about I did manage to find a door that led me to a hidden part. As cool as I thought it was. It turned out to just be someone's home that I'd walked in on, so be careful you don't do the same when you go and see these temples. But yeah, at that point I pretty much knew it was time to go. One of the best temples in Central Ubud was actually located on the main street just behind the Starbucks, who by the way really made a cultural effort with their gong. Great work guys, I applaud you. This temple was a quiet place and it seemed like it was miles away from the busy road that was right next to it. The water either side of the walkway gave it a real calming feel and the burning incense sticks all around really added to it as well, along with those biscuits that they had on top of them. Max, no! I couldn't actually believe my luck but this temple was home to another hidden passageway that I couldn't resist going down. This is kinda creepy. Hear how silent it is. Yeah. It's just chairs. A bit underwhelming, I'll admit, but I did set a trend as you can see by this fella. Now this whole video isn't going to be about temples, but I will say if you are staying in Uber, then I'd recommend going to visit the water palace known as Tata Impul. I don't know if I said that right. It only took me about 30 minutes on the scooter, but it was definitely worth it. It's a place that most people go for purification in the water, and it's special to see, and it kind of has a real sacred feel to it. Okay, more Damn, the world of social media. I love it. Plus you get to wear one of these banging sarongs. Yeah, you work it. Low key though, this guy had to help me put it on. It's a bit embarrassing. Being from Essex, I did feel like I could do with some purification, so I joined everyone in the water. So I've just finished the whole cleansing process. I didn't film any of it because I didn't really want to worry about my camera and I wanted to really just be present in the whole thing. Um, but if you want to imagine what it was like, then just put me in there. In fact, there actually isn't anyone there. So for those people that have a hard time imagining, I'll, I'll just show you. You want it? You got it. You want to see me in the water? This is it. This is me in the water. Look, I'm cleansing. I'm cleansing. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you like it. Me, water, water, me. You get it now? Are you happy now? And there you go. I'd say get there early because there was a lot of tourist buses that did start to turn up as I was leaving, which is not ideal. It's about to get real busy and it's only just gone half eleven. Just around the corner from here is Ulundeza Coffee Plantation. Now I did already make a video about this place which I'll link in the description. But if you're interested in Kopi Luwak or literally any type of tea or coffee flavour then this place is probably worth checking out. It doesn't taste like normal coffee. Yeah. I, I'm, I mean, understandably, where it's been. Anyway, back to Central Ubud and the Ubud Market. I'm not going to spend long talking about it because... Well, I hate markets. Exactly. I thought it was just indoors, but it turns out there is a large outside section as well. I don't have to film all this, do I? Well, I need B-roll, mate, so yeah. This is a bag of dicks. No, this is a bag of dicks. And there's a weird amount of them here, actually. In all honesty, this guy banging out the tunes was the best thing about this place. But needless to say, if you're into markets, then check it out. There's probably some cool things that you'd be interested in which you just happen to be lying around. Moving on, even though Uber does have some cool hidden rice fields of its own, I ventured up to the Tagangalang rice fields. I didn't need long here because even though it does look good and it's cool to see people working the terraces, it all looks the same after 5 minutes. A word of warning is come early in the morning or late afternoon when it's not so hot. I got here too close to midday and was suffering, but I did still manage to crack out the tourist poses for you guys. You're welcome. 
There's also plenty of jungle swings here as I'm sure you've probably seen on Instagram. So if you want to give them a try then this is the place to do it. They aren't that expensive in the grand scheme of things. I think it cost me about 50,000 Indonesian rupiah. But man, I got some good pushing for that money. Yes, lads, good push, good push. Bagus. 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 Good. Bagus. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the rice fields. Speaking of rice though, the food here has been some of the best I've had in the last few months. Especially as someone who stays away from animal products. I spent most of my time at small family run places called Rungs. In all honesty, they make great food for a good price and the actual places themselves are quite charming and an ideal place to sit down and just enjoy your food. As you'd expect, really. Most of the time, I ate and drank local with a bintang and tofu or tempeh smothered in satay. Thank you so much for the traditional Balinese burrito. I mean, most of the time, not all of the time. I love warungs. So do I, man. So do I. Outside of these places, the food I picked up was pretty damn good as well. It's not bad. And I'd like to introduce you guys to someone. This is Ali. Ali and I go way back, and as I'm sure you can tell by that ball of greeting he just gave me, he was my street food dealer. Tofu, tempeh, all that jazz, yeah? Let's do it, man. And he never let me down. Again, even if you're plant-based, this food is fine for you. So thank you, Ali. I appreciate you. Now, it wouldn't be a video about Ubud without talking about the sacred monkey forest. Whoa, hang on a minute. I'm not going in there. Been surrounded by those guys for the last five months in Phuket. One of them jumped on me at Mount Batur. I'm not going in there. Okay, here's a banana. There's a monkey. What's next? Okay, well, that answers that one. And yes, a monkey did jump on me at the top of Mount Batur. And for those wondering what Mount Batur is, it's a volcano. You can get picked up at 2am from Uber to climb it and see the sunrise. It is pretty special and it is worth the early start. Again, I made a video about this which I'll link in the description. Finally, I would like to introduce you to this chap. Tagunagan Waterfall. One of the more famous waterfalls in Bali, but there's plenty to choose from, so you don't have to go to this one. You don't have to do anything, I say, you're your own person. Now, I thought this guy would have a lot of visitors, so I got in nice and early. I did make some friends. You guys are so cute. And some enemies. You don't look as friendly. Oh, Christ. But I ended up getting the whole thing to myself, which was sick, because it meant I could get some mad footage. Mad. You can get in the water as long as you're not naked. I mean, obviously, I, I don't know why you think you could be naked. This is a family place, but it is pretty cool and not too far from Ubud at all. So definitely worth checking out. There you go. That's pretty much my trip to Ubud in a nutshell. I'm sure there is a lot more you can do here. And if you have any suggestions, then let me know in the comments. But other than that, enjoy this place. I'd say it's best suited for plant based yogis of the world, but that doesn't mean you won't enjoy it if you're a meat eating couch potato. I'd probably just suggest Kuta though, if that's the case.